Alright, so it's Talker Day, back with another Transformers review, and today I have Transformers Beast Hunters Hard Shell. And first and foremost, let's take a quick look at the packaging. No, it won't stay together. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, Cyberverse Legion size. And I got the front picture of him there, Plague Missile Launcher. Demolitions Expert, now remember that part for later. You got the tech spec on the side there. We got the backboard with the obligatory product shots. We got the insect mode, the robot mode, the one sentence bio. Let's see if I can zoom this in there. Yeah. Now that one sentence bio thing still bugs the living daylights out of me. And the reason why I said remember the uh, demolitions expert is one well, here's the instructions they got with these things now they're they're strips of paper which i think is very funny but on the box it says demolition expert and on here it says assault infantry okay sure so as you can see he's a beetle he has his a uh, nice weapon up here just kind of like a cross between a shield and a club but it's the uh Plague Missile Launcher, and it's got one of those friction launchers, and it's not bad, you know. If you know how to use these things, they can be pretty cool. But, you know, you got like a shield launcher and a club missile there, which is pretty cool. And it actually comes in really fun in robot mode. But, as far as his beetle goes, he's kind of a Hercules beetle, sort of. It's not a bad design, you know, it's very accurate to the show. His wings are poseable. Very plain detailing over, all over. Really, no obvious robot kibble on the bottom. Yeah, there's his head, but it's hidden in a way, in a, in a really nice way. His front mouth opens. Nom, 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 nom. He's kind of got waist articulation. Yeah, that can come in handy for some poses, which is cool. He's got ball jointed hip back hips, ball jointed knees, and hinged feet. His front legs don't move at all. And you're really meant to pose them pretty much like this, but if you use his back legs in a right way, you can get them kind of rearing up. But, you know, if these legs were posable, that would be really wicked. Even if they're just ball jointed, that'd be really cool. For comparison, you get them back flat on the ground, bring in my standard comparison, now yeah, this is a deluxe class, so this is going to be bigger, but still, gives you an idea of how big hard shell is, and here is full of Cybertron Shockwave, now for a Cyberverse comparison, here is, I can't remember his name right now, but he's the brother to Dreadwing. So. Pretty good in pretty good size in comparison to another Cyberverse figure. Let's go ahead and get down to transformation now. You're going to want to make sure his uh, animal, his insect mode mouth is closed. You're going to want to twist him at the midsection. Let's see. Then you're going to want to lift, bend down the front legs. Lift these out of the way, and just bend the whole thing down. The legs. Oh, I'm messing something up here. Oh, gotta break the uh, back abdomen apart first. Stretch the legs down, then fold them at the front waist like that. Then you can lower down the legs and lower down the insect mode head. Straighten the legs all out. Straighten the arms out. Fold the uh, back of the wrists down. There we go, like that. And then you can just bring these pieces over. Those become like shoulder arm pieces. Yeah. 
and there we have him in robot mode. He is a little back heavy. Oh, there we go. I wasn't bending him at the back of his knee. But yeah, he still is a little back heavy. Even when he is standing. Stay standing, damn you! Okay. Now his weapon can be stored. Oh no, it can't. That peg hole stores weapon folds away and it's hidden now. You can peg it onto his wrists. Like that. Or, pull the missile out. Stick it in the other arm. And now you got a nice melee club going on. Articulation wise, there is no head articulation. He's got kind of an ab crunch, or reverse ab crunch. It's a second mouth! Hard! Um, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, ball jointed hips, but they're kind of limited because of this big old piece right here on his hip and the uh, back of his uh, back of his shelf or animal mode. He's got an upper knee right here. He's got a lower knee and ball jointed ankles. So he is fairly poseable, you know, for a cyberverse view, cyberverse scale. And his wings are still a little bit poseable. Though really, you're just gonna stick them back here between the uh, and between the bug legs. So, for comparison, here he is next to Generations Blur, and yeah, Deluxe, I know, and full of Cybertron Air Raid. Now, for the Cybertronian comparison. Cyber, I mean, not Cybertronian, Cyberverse comparison. Here he is next to Dreadwing, and yeah, I've repainted him. I was trying to go for a Shock Quake Wave. I was trying to repaint him to look like his brother, but it kind of turned out different, so. <clears throat> and, I can pose him with this guy, because this guy never gets transformed in my collection, Megatron. Cyberverse Megatron is a good robot, crappy vehicle mode, and again, I've repainted him. I don't have pictures of him up, though. Hard Shell is not a bad figure. He'd be great for troop building. You know, like having just mass swarms of insects. Personally, I don't really care for him. So he's going to be another one of those guys that... <clears throat> that I am going to take back. So... This has been Taco Day with a review of Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Hard Shell. Thank you much for watching.